times. Exciting times. I have wanted one of these guitars. Yes, I just threw them for ignore me. I have wanted one of these guitars forever. And due to the uh, uh, the burgeoning Dorset Guitar Museum that we are setting up, it's finally happened. Burn it. <laughs> One of you fine individuals got in touch and said, Hey Ben, I heard you like the Bond Electric Light. Would you like the Bond Electric Light? I said, Why, yes, you heard. You heard correctly, sir. How much? And oh, we did a deal. And it's here. And talking so much I can't even open the box. Leatherman sponsors Crimson Guitars. I am excited. I need a saw. I am very, very excited. What? I can build guitars, I'm just not very good with boxes, right? But we have a case full of random stuff. I need a box to put the stuff in. So apparently the case is uh, not in the best of condition. the guitar is. I was talking with Ashley Bond, who is the son of the Mr. Bond, couldn't resist it, uh, who invented this guitar. And the whole story of how it happened and how it ended up going away is really interesting and also depressing and a cautionary tale but it is hi ben i hope the bond has arrived safe and sound here's some background as to how it came to be in my position a customer arrived in my workshop with an old 68 Mustang base that had seen the ravages of several diy's over the years and needed a complete restoration <sighs> One lonely fret and spiders living in the case. Whoa. Uh, I'm sure you'll be familiar with the situation. He also had the bond with him and left it with me for a bit of TLC. He told me he'd used it for years, playing in a dance band three or four times a week in the hotels around the Aberdeen area. This is an example of somebody procrastinating and putting off the glorious moment of opening a box with a cool new thing in it. Uh, a couple of months later, he returned to collect the fully restored Mustang. Check that. That is a before and after. Oh, wow. Tommy, camera people don't talk. Sorry. I'm, I'm talking to the, to the fans, not the camera person. <laughs> I know that, you know, we're going to have to have words after. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I like teasing Tommy. He gets really embarrassed, really gratifyingly. Um, okay, and he asked if I liked the bond. I said yes, it was a great conversation piece hanging on the worship wall. All the young lads coming in were amazed by the fretless guitar from the 80s with the digital readout. He went on to offer it to me as payment for the work I had carried out on the Mustang bass. I accepted it and it has been in my position ever since. I've thoroughly enjoyed being its custodian for a number of years, but now it's being retired. There's no workshop for people to come and see. So it's time I passed it on to yourself to let many other people get the pleasure of a brief flirtation with a uniquely innovative radical guitar made in Scotland in the 80s and way ahead of its time. I hope you have a lot of fun with it. All the best, Dave. Dave, you are a gentleman and a scholar and I sincerely appreciate the fact that you have passed this instrument on to us. And yes, it will be a permanent part of the uh, Dorset Guitar Museum collection and uh, will be available for people to come and visit and uh, if everything goes according to plan, people will also be able to borrow uh, certain instruments uh, for recordings and sessions and things like that as well. And I am sure 
but that will be something that happens to this guitar over time. Now, let me just, wow, that's heavy. Dodge, Tommy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So the case is, is in a, a, a... I have never seen tape like this. Nothing happens. Okay, so that's the back. <laughs> it's like freaking. Night Rider and Kit fit in a guitar, or cooler. Yes, people, I'm old. If I don't give a damn. Okay, so apparently we've got the original cable and a replacement one as well. That actually works. We've got the, the power control thing which was one of the issues so this was this was designed back in the day when um, we didn't have the electrical prowess that we currently have so it was an external power supply uh, converting and doing all sorts of bits and pieces and uh, I really should have uh, Made in UK, serial number 908 or 00908. They had big plans. Um, it was supposed to be designed so that you could take, or well, they originally designed it so that you could take the fretboard off if you, if everything wore away. And it's a, it was originally a phrenolic resin fretboard, and at one point it was uh, then an aluminium fretboard. And I think we've got the aluminium one here. And they thought, okay, fine, you know, it's gonna wear, it just is, over time, we'll just sell you a new fretboard, which is an interesting idea. Uh, it's not in tune, of course. Um, it's an interesting idea, but, yeah. It's got a scalloped nut there, but the nut's also got height adjustment built into it. So we've got little grub screws, and you can see how it's been pushed up. Vintage shallow tuners, obviously vintage. Um, Strat style pickups, etc. Front mounted jack plate. This is absolutely incredible. Okay. Um, shallow hardware is what it looks like. The, it's, it's just so cool. The real question is, does it play? Um, what I'm going to do... <laughs> it's fine, we're at a workshop. Come in, strum and guitar, it's fine. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to take this beastie home. I'm going to um, tune her up and plug her in. I'm not going to do that here and now. Or should, or should I do that here and now? I'm talking to you now, Tommy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Not, not, not the audience. It's, it's you. I'm, it's, I always want to talk to you, Tommy. <laughs> you said earlier. That I, don't I speak. didn't say anything earlier, Tommy. <laughs> um, yeah, go for it. Why not? He's so rude. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, I just want to show you how cool this sounds. 
that sound cool. Let me hand you your bow. <laughs> <laughs> um, the amp sounds amazing. Yeah, and sound amazing. we're going to put this through it in a second. Yeah, do it. You haven't seen this yet. <laughs> I thought that was me, Dimitri. <laughs> Damn it. Um, okay, hold on. So, this is, I'm assuming, I'm ass well, I don't really know. So this is the thing, I've, I've, I've not done this before. Um, we've got the power, it's set to 240. That doesn't currently work. So let's get rid of the power supply for that camera. If this blows up, it's currently right between my legs. Wait. Nothing blew up. Oh, we've got lights, people! <laughs> Have fun. Well, did well, you not did you not know what we were doing today? No. I really like the yeah. numbers. Oh, I remember yeah. these with the weird, the, no the non-fret. Yeah. Oh, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, what yeah, you yeah, did yeah, on your yeah. um, Bob of Fret, isn't it? Yeah, so I used the fretboard. The problem is, I haven't actually done any research on how to <laughs> turn the down. Oh, yeah. that's, <laughs> yeah, that's some noise. Damn it. Oh, yeah, there's no stool. There's no stool. <laughs> So, so that turns that off. Is that going to be here tomorrow? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Sorry. So oh. essentially, as you look at that, That's isn't nice. it the coolest thing? <laughs> they actually. Mm, so we're currently on camera. The, oh, sorry. Pause for swearing. <laughs> I don't know what that does, but it does something. Um, it's man, look at the look at, look. Oh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's the definition of cool. Ah, oh, it's kind of yeah. It's very uh, Back to the Future. Yeah. I, yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Flux of capacity. Yo. <laughs> um, okay, and that's my. play for shit either. Um, what I'm doing is that Okay, so this is the volume control for each pickup, but at the moment Okay, I think it's weirder than that. So ch check it out. Um, here we go. Hold on, let's just put that down there. Uh, so that's my middle pickup, and there's my bridge pickup volume up, and then that's now selecting. I assume we've got that one, then middle, then bridge. I don't know what these two things do. Clue. We should have done some research. I knew the guitar was coming, but uh, I 
had other things on my mind today. Uh, by the way, I've got an incredibly cool hand-carved sort of 335 style, 355, we're thinking about rectangular legs, build in that cowrie wood coming soon. Mind-blowing, Nicole. Um, <laughs> Lick just embarrassed the hell out of me. Um, okay, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a full luthier's teardown on this guitar um, soon. It needs a freaking external power supply because <laughs> <laughs> just it's just impractical. It's weird. Yeah, it reminds you like the Yamaha Revstar. Is it the Revstar? I mean, maybe. It's sort of Yamaha Revstar, I suppose. Maybe, maybe Strat. It's. I seem to be collecting plastic guitars. Where's the volume? Is there a volume? Yeah, watch. Is it a oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. And that's your. your bass pickups there. I'm not sure. It's got the funky fretboard. It's got the funky fretboard. The, the whole, just, god damn it, it's cool. Uh, hi. Okay. Look, I'm going to do a full Luthier's teardown of this guitar in the not too distant future. This is just an unboxing. It's it's cool. I'm going to take it apart. We're going to look at the insides. We're going to do the proper history of the Bond Electric Glide. I'll talk about the whole thing. But for now, you just need to know that I am like a tiny little child uh, in a cross between a candy store and Legoland. This is this is it for me, people. I am supremely excited. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is, this is something that you'll be able to visit at uh, Dorset Guitar Museum, and uh, which for now, at least, is at uh, Crimson Guitars headquarters. Aha! But uh, this is something you can come, you can play, you can enjoy, you can experience yourself uh, in the interests of guitar education and building and just, you know, building cool things. Thank you for watching. Click like, subscribe, and uh, yeah, stay frosty, people. It's my phone. I didn't even turn my phone off. I'm so unprofessional today. Uh, yeah, have a good one. There's no side dot on the seventh or the third for fun times. Okay, that's done. Let's unbox Sam's new guitar. We're gonna go from the ridiculous <laughs> to the sublime, or is it the other way around? It's classy, um, useful word. Yeah, classy? Yeah, the bond is definitely classy. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, it's got a Fender case. It's got a 70s nice case. Fender case. Oh my God! You should have a look at the, the, the case for my 60s um, Music Monster 2. It's got an even better color inside. <laughs> <laughs> it just screams 70s. It just screams utter coolness. This is another guitar that uh, we're going to do. Um, going to put in the museum. <laughs> yeah, I'm putting, I'm putting Sam's brand new baby in the museum. Uh, Sam, you, you will lend this to me to do a. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll take it. Do you know what? Forget it. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do. We're going to. Sam is going to film doing a Luthier's teardown on his guitar. So if somebody slips with a screwdriver, it's that's a really I blame myself. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. But uh, yeah, you want to do that? Do you want to be on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. cool. Beautiful guitar. So literally today, we both had this guitar and this guitar arrived today. I mean, they, they couldn't be more opposite, could they? <laughs> they couldn't be, but also neither of us could actually open it. I was in a meeting with a client all day so far. I mean, it's now, yeah, 20 past five, quarter past five. And when did you open yours? Uh, lunchtime, so. Lunchtime. I was when it sat there first. all morning, <laughs> a bit staring at me. I did tell you that I officially changed the, the, the <laughs> lunch hour to 10.30 in the morning, and then you yeah. ignored me, so. Yeah. There we go. Catch you guys later.